What first comes to your mind when you hear the term near-Earth asteroid? If you are picturing a shooting star that would appear large and shiny, giving you breathtaking visuals, then you are right. But there's a catch here. What if we tell you that this shooting star would come 10 times closer than the Moon, even leaving the geostationary satellites behind? Welcome to the Space Tech Gazette. Today, we're going to talk about the asteroid that has become the talk of the town. Asteroid 99942 Apophis. Asteroid Apophis is a near-Earth asteroid that measures 370 meters, or 1,210 feet, in diameter. Back in December 2004, there was a lot of buzz when experts predicted a 2.7% chance that it would collide with our planet on April 13th, 2029. But don't worry, it won't get too close. After carefully observing the asteroid's path, astronomers confirmed that Apophis is in no mood to hit Earth for at least the next 100 years. A slight chance of an impact still remained until 2006. That's because Apophis, during its near approach to Earth in 2029, would pass through a gravitational keyhole measuring no larger than approximately 800 kilometers, or 500 miles, in diameter. And this might set the stage for a potential collision exactly seven years later on April 13th, 2036. Fortunately, further observations debunked these concerns as well. Thanks to recent optical and radar observations, the uncertainty in Apophis's orbit has dramatically reduced from hundreds of kilometers to just a few when projected for 2029. And so, April 13th, 2029, is going to be the day when the infamous celestial rock, Apophis, will come hurtling towards us, but won't get close enough to make an impact. Apophis will visit us from a safe distance of 31,600 kilometers, or 19,600 miles, above Earth's surface. Phew! That was a huge relief. Though it now is clear that Apophis won't make an impact with Earth any time soon, it has sparked great scientific curiosity. This ancient piece from the early solar system has grabbed the attention of scientists due to its intriguing nature. Therefore, NASA has sent a spacecraft to explore this asteroid before it comes awkwardly close to Earth in 2029. Wondering which is this spacecraft? We got you! Remember OSIRIS-REx, the spacecraft that successfully collected material from asteroid Bennu last year and brought it back to Earth? Well. The same spacecraft is now headed on an extended mission to Apophis, and its journey from OSIRIS-REx to OSIRIS-APEX, which stands for OSIRIS-APOPHIS Explorer, has already started. This is definitely a journey that you don't want to miss. But wait, is it relevant? What is the need to study this space rock when we already know it won't be hitting Earth? Well, because of how close Apophis is going to pass by, Earth's gravity will play a major role in altering its trajectory. As a result, the asteroid's orbit and potential future impacts will become even more uncertain. But fear not, we won't just be spectators to this cosmic spectacle. Our spacecraft will slip into orbit around the asteroid beforehand to get an up-close and captivating look. With the upcoming flyby of Apophis, Scientists are now more intrigued than ever before and have started investigating all about this space rock. In their investigations, experts have discovered that Apophis shares striking similarities with the most commonly found meteorites, called ordinary chondrites. These meteorites are primarily made up of stone and silicate materials. Classified as an S-type asteroid by NASA, Apophis is more than just a regular space rock and is a combination of metals, including nickel and iron. Its unique shape is believed to resemble an elongated space peanut with two lobes. But amongst all the other asteroids, how has Apophis managed to come this close to Earth? Well, to answer that, we will have to dive deep into the history of Apophis. The story of Apophis actually dates back to the early solar system. Before becoming an asteroid, Apophis was a piece of an ancient planetary body that never formed into one of our planets. Instead, it found its home in the asteroid belt for 4.6 billion years. What makes this even more interesting is that it could be a fragment of a larger asteroid that shattered during a collision in the asteroid belt. 
This event likely propelled our asteroid onto its current orbit, bringing it astonishingly close to Earth. But why the name Apophis? Well, it got its name from an ancient Egyptian representation of evil. In fact, the Greek name Apophis was believed to be a serpent that lived in darkness and tried to devour the sun god Ra every night as he traveled across the sky. Gosh, this space rock has been considered so evil even when it hasn't collided with our planet. Imagine the consequences if it had actually struck Earth. And just so you know, scientists have already worked out the possibility as well as the consequences of an Apophis-like asteroid hitting Earth. Want to know what it will be like? If Apophis were to hit Earth at a crazy speed of 45,000 miles per hour, or 72,000 kilometers per hour, the energy unleashed would be a mind-blowing 10 billion billion joules. That is a one followed by 19 zeros. Now that's equivalent to the explosive power of every nuclear weapon in the world combined. And get this, it's 100,000 times more energy than the Chelyabinsk meteor, the meteor that entered Earth's atmosphere over the southern Ural region in Russia on the 15th of February 2013, and a million times more powerful than the bombs dropped on Hiroshima. If Apophis strikes an ocean, it would create dangerous tsunamis. On the other hand, if it hits land, it will produce a significantly larger amount of ejected dust. And an impact of this magnitude near a densely populated area or along a heavily populated coast would again lead to catastrophic results. The secondary effects would include violent ground shaking, intense thermal radiation and atmospheric shock waves. All in all, it's no simple task to predict the consequences of an Apophis-like asteroid colliding with Earth. In fact, there's nothing quite like it is documented in the geological history of our planet. Other impactors have either been significantly larger, like the infamous dinosaur-killing asteroid that collided with Earth 66 million years ago and created the Chicxulub crater, or they were much tinier in comparison. Various factors, such as the asteroid's size, density and mass, as well as the angle and velocity at which it strikes, all play a major role in determining the extent of the damage it can cause. Predicting the exact consequences of such impacts is always a challenging task, as there are various factors that contribute to uncertainties. Therefore, studying such close approaches of asteroids to Earth becomes the best way to enhance our understanding of asteroid encounters. They help us gain valuable insights into their behavior and the probability of future collisions. And because the imminent threat surrounding an impact in 2029 has been eliminated, researchers can now shift their attention to gathering scientific information. Extensive preparations are underway for Apophis's next close encounter in 2029, and the Apophis investigators are eagerly creating ambitious strategies to observe the asteroid's flyby journey. With the asteroid sampling spacecraft OSIRIS-REx, Scientists will have the chance to not just observe Apophis, but gain crucial insights into its size, shape, and composition. And if that wasn't exciting enough, they'll even be able to model the interior of this space rock for the very first time. During its close approach, Apophis might shake, rattle, or roll, revealing its mysterious interior structure. Just like seismic waves that have helped us uncover the secrets beneath the surfaces of Earth, the Moon and Mars, observing Apophis will provide us with an opportunity to understand its composition. And this is going to be the first time in history that humans will have a chance to measure the interior of a potentially hazardous asteroid, or PHA. Apophis shares similarities with about 80% of other known PHAs. Therefore, gathering data on this space rock will help scientists figure out how to deflect future PHAs if they pose a threat to Earth. NASA's OSIRIS-REx mission page explains that the spacecraft will closely observe Apophis as it passes by, utilizing its gas thrusters to stir up and analyze tiny rocks and dust on the surface of the asteroid. According to researchers, this close encounter with the space rock is truly a once-in-a-lifetime experience. It's not every day that objects as massive as Apophis come so close to Earth. In fact, it only happens once every thousand years. 
And when this ancient space rock passes by in 2029, more than two billion people in the Eastern Hemisphere will be able to see it with the naked eye. So mark your calendars. You definitely don't want to miss this stellar sight. That concludes our cosmic journey with the asteroid Apophis right here on the Space Tech Gazette. If this journey ignited your curiosity, remember to like and comment what your favorite part is of this mission. Your support fuels our mission to bring you the latest news in space technology. If you want to know more about some of the most amazing space technologies out there, you can watch one of these videos next. And as always, keep gazing at the stars, for the cosmos is a boundless source of wonder.